Hoping for a new fragment here. Come on, please. Yes, clued in. What is this one? I'm going to guess that is a clue scroll fragment. And it is a... Give me a minute. Clued in. Enemies drop clues. Okay, one in 30. Okay, that's not too bad. Wait. Enemies that drop clues can drop them at a rate of one in 15. That's some insane clue scrolls. Uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's been a while since I last logged in, two days and 12 hours ago. I have some catching up to do. Let's get them graphics back on, shall we? The plan was to just AFK here, but as you can see, I got nothing done. Uh, so my tattoo actually got postponed uh, until Wednesday, so I have two days to game. I'll, uh, yeah, got some catching up to do. Let's do this. You best believe that this right here is 100 summer squirk juice in the bank. Look at that. 100 of them. Now, I'm pretty sure I can't hand them all in whilst they're noted. You can't note them. Okay. This is going to be some fat XP. I've been working on this like in my downtime pretty much whilst I've been editing videos and stuff, doing the one-click method. I want to see how much XP this actually gives me. This should be ridiculous. One, <laughs> 1 million XP <laughs> per invent. That is sick. 84th event. Very nice. I'm going to hand all of these in. This is an elite task to hand in 100 of these. That is a million XP per time. I do an invent. I cannot complain. Now, this should get me to 90th even. Uh, after this, I'm going to head over and actually... Wait, what was that notification thing then? Yeah, 90th even. 100 squirt juice turned in. Look at all these points as well. 20, 125 lead points for that and 125 lead points for getting my first level 90. Catch your red salamander. I've also put on unchained talent, so I get a plus eight boost to all my non-combat stats, which is hopefully help out or help speed up this grind a little bit. Catch your black salamander. We're going to stay here for a little while, though, uh, just to get some... Oh, I'm, yeah, I've shown the wrong thing. I was trying to sort my settings out because it's way too dark here. I don't like it. All right, I think with 65 plus the plus eight boost, which will get me to 73 once I actually procs, it takes a second or two for it to actually like boost up again. Uh, I should be able to do quite a lot of tasks now. Equip a full set of the Hunter outfit. That is 25 points. Uh, this is the Grag one. Yep. Catch a Snowy Knight, 25 points. Release the Snowy Knight, zero points. Trap a Sabertooth, Larupia. Oh, no, Kayat. Now we need to go and do the Larupia though. Spine of the Rupia, mine now. That's 4,000 League points as well and 40 Sages Renown. I might actually start unlocking some quests soon uh, just so we can unlock some more points. I'm thinking about going down maybe the current route first uh, just because you can get a lot of stuff done down the current route. And I think you get some Renown back, actually. What's it called? Yeah, if I do the Kingdom Divided, that should unlock a lot of stuff and give me access to doing a lot of stuff as well. So I think I'm just going to bite the bullet, go ahead, buy that for 39 Renown. See how much Renown we get back from this as well. So let's go ahead. Oh, of course, I keep forgetting that you need to do it in a bank or at the Sage. And I don't have the uh, teleport back at the moment. I just checked. I completely forgot we have these stuff for last recall. As well as getting the magic secateurs. I would have got a Draven Staff, but I went and made one like an absolute idiot. And we get this book which allows us to change between spellbooks whenever we want. As long as we have the right relics activated. All right, I think it's about time I go ahead and unlock Dragon Slayer. Now, not only does this give me access to Bone Voyage, that gives me access to Fossil Island, which means I can start getting some points for Birdhouse runs. It's also a really good way to train Hunter. Uh, I also need to get level 25 construction, though. So I'm going to unlock this first. Let's go ahead, unlock that, and then I'm going to unlock the construction skill and go and do the Daddy's Home quest line. I think that should give me like 25 construction, and I can train it pretty quickly anyway. So back over to here, unlocks, and then there's only two more skills I need to unlock after this. So construction is a 30-point skill. We have three renown left, but hopefully we can claw some of that back pretty quickly. And there is the completions of Daddy's Home. It's five points for that, as well as 28 construction, and we now have a house... Uh, so we should get... Oh, that's, that's what the five points was for. Never mind. Open up this as well. Loads of supplies. That should get us a decent amount of levels. Uh, we could already go ahead and change our house portal and get some points. But for now, I'm not going to worry too much about that. We'll start getting construction up soon. I do need to start training my woodcutting again. I'm also thinking about just unlocking fletching and range. And then I can just do quests and get as much XP as possible. Actually, sack that. I just had a quick look. Relocate this to Polm of Niche first. As that's 25 points. Relocate it. Can I do the whole Sidious one? I don't know if whole Sidious has any points. It probably is, but I can't see it. Let me just have a quick look. No, it's not. So turn it back to Tavali. There we go. Some more points. Teleport outside of our house. 
enter our player run house is more points. That should be another five points. And then going to building mode and build a room is another five points. So, yeah, definitely worth unlocking this. Like most of our renown. Well, actually, no, we've got nowhere near enough <laughs> renown back, but it's still decent. I think if I talk to this guy, he should be able to give me some lamps. As I've done some quests, and I've also unlocked some quests as well, so we'll see We'll see what he gives us. If so, I'm going to bang them probably all into Herblow, just because it seems like a pain to level up at the start. Just see one lamp to start with, but we'll, we'll put it in Herblow anyway. How much XP is that? 12,000? Certainly not bad. 42 Herblow. Very nice. Let's head over to Fossil Island now. I did also get myself the dig site pendant, but I deleted the recording, so I have, I have no idea where that is now. Even coming to Fossil Island is 25 points. There should be loads of points to do on here as well. It's quite a lot for herbivores, so I can't wait to get doing that. But yeah, let's run around and see what we can unlock. We currently have this amount of points and this amount of renown. I'll show you once we've finished. Teleporting to Fossil Island should be some points. There we go. Very nice. Bank built on Fossil Island and 30 construction. We've just hit level 91 of the even over at Andy Knight, so I'm going to head over to Pyramid Plunder now and loot the final room to get an elite task completed. It's also an elite task to do it 50 and 100 times, so I might come back and do those later on. Uh, or I might even still do them now. We'll see how long it's going to take. I think we can just skip through every single floor uh, and just jump straight to the end. And I'm pretty sure doing that we shouldn't take too much damage either. So I'll probably take some Karen Blinds with me and then just go from there. Complete the eighth floor of Pyramid Plunder. 125 points i've been jumping around between a lot of stuff recently and i decided that i want to do some wood cutting i can afk it i can put personal banker on i can bank everything now not only will that give me access to chopping silly steps later on i can also do a few other tasks at 60 i can enter the wood cutting guild chop something with a rune axe which i'll be able to do very very soon hey a skilling fragment nice what did I get that from? Probably chopping the tree, right? No, it's just Alchemaniac. Uh, chopping some of a rune axe, make a whacker canoe, all this stuff that I can't quite do yet. Chop a magic log as well, a magic tree as well in the Forsaken Sour, which I will be able to do later on. So there's still a few things I need to do. It's also going to help me bank some logs so I can get my construction up. There's loads of points of construction. So I'm going to go down this route at the moment. I'll probably jump between a few other tasks and stuff here and there. But I think my main AFK grinds at the moment are going to be woodcutting and fishing. Misk Fragment mother's magic fossils i actually think that is one of the ones i wanted let's find out see what it is chance of obtaining fossils on fossil island and mother Lode mine nuggets that would have been great when i was doing the mother Lode mine grind <laughs> magic trading arena points are also received 100% uh, more that's decent that's actually really good if you level it up oh that would have been so good for mining but i just didn't get it unfortunately all right i've been here for a very long time this is my third inventory and still nothing so we're doing it with an adamant axe <laughs> and then at 60 i'll just go to the woodcutting guild that's actually a joke as you can see in the chat box, we have just maxed out our skilling relics for thieving, which means I'll no longer get thieving relics. Uh, I can still get misc relics, though, I believe, so uh, I just came over here so I can get myself some cash. I'm running really low all the time. Build an oak ladder, completed. Now it's time to finally go and get my wood cutting up. I've been diverting so much. I'm probably going to go and chop some oaks for a little bit. I'm going to work out how many for level 70 construction. Uh, it shouldn't honestly be a lot. Uh, and then from there, from 70 construction, we'll just do Mahogany Homes. I, is it worth Mahogany Homes in this game mode? I don't even know, you know. Entering the Woodcutting Guild, 25 points. I'm going to go buy myself a Rune Axe now. We did AFK a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of willows over at Barbarian Outpost. Oh, Barbarian Assault. So we now have 60 Woodcutting and I can get myself a Rune Axe. And that should give me some more points. Chop a tree of rune axe, 25 points. Look at how many people are in the woodcutting guild. This is actually ridiculous. It is so busy on every single world. So as you can probably tell by the inventory, last night we did a little bit of thieving. Uh, AFK on mobile. I got all the way to 96. I think thieving might be my first 99. I wonder if it's a task to actually enter the magic guild. I'm going to imagine that it is. Yeah, of course it is. 25 points for that. Very nice. And two sages of renown. Let's head over to my driller. Uh, I should be able... Oh, I need to do a hand in the sand. Oh, no, but... <laughs> I hate this quest. I'm about to take a little detour. I'm over a Lava Dragon Isle. I'm over here because I needed some white berries. I can also kill Lava Dragons to get some Lava Dragon Bones, which can be fantastic for training prayer, as well as the other loot you get from here is actually really decent. So I'm going to stay here for half an hour or until I get a full inventory, and then we'll finish up the quest. I just got myself a Lava Battle Staff. I'm pretty sure that is a task. It is... Very nice, 25 points. I suppose I no longer need this anymore either. Oh wait, that was a double task. 
Because com- it's a combination battle staff as well. Dude, that's sick. We'll take that. Arcane Conduit is now level 3 as well, which means we save 90% of our runes. Dude, that is amazing. If you're wondering what this is as well, by the way, if you go to the plugin hub and just type in Relic, there is a plugin called... Uh, hang on. Uh, Shattered Relic XP. If you just turn that on, it actually adds the XP to the bottom. If you hover over the relics, it'll tell you what exactly they do and things. It's just kind of nice to have, I think. So I need to make myself a lantern lens for Hand in the Sand. And unfortunately, I don't have any of the production relics at the moment. So this is going to be really slow. I can already make the lantern lens, but there is a task to make 100 unpowered orbs, uh, which I thought I might as well do now. Honestly, charters have been bought out this entire season, which is kind of a pain, but I suppose it is very competitive at the moment. So far, we've had three production relics. We've had Dragon on a bit, Rumpel, Bowstring, and we've also had Incando Apprentice, which is pretty decent. But there we go, Craft 100 Unpowered Orbs. Very nice. Let's go over now and finally do this quest I've been waiting to do. There we go, Hand in the Sand finished. 63 crafting. We can now craft green dragon hide bodies. But the most important part, we can now go upstairs and buy ourselves some Mystic. Now, originally, I wasn't going to buy the full set. I was going to leave the gloves off. But then I realized, in reality, there isn't that... Like, they're only like 6,000 GP. Are they 10k? Damn, let's go and buy all this anyway. This is going to be my best in slot for a while. Um, we're just going to buy the gloves. This should be a task to equip one piece of Mystic. 25 points. We now have amazing magical uh, gear until we get to Arims. I'm not sure I'm going to spend too much time doing raids in this league, but we'll see. There we have the completion of Monkey Madness 1. Only took around about an hour, I would say. And now watch all this XP we're going to get. It's going to be freaking amazing. I believe we just talked to this guy. I think I'm probably going to go for the strength option as well. Uh, let's have a quick look. So increase strength and stamina. Yes, please. 51 strength. What do we go to? I think it gives uh, hit points. It gives everything, to be fair. All the melee combat stats as well as hit points. What an amazing amount of XP. Look at that. 66 strength, 69 attack, 63 defense, and 67 HP. I cannot complain with that. Right, now one thing I'm going to do is go ahead and unlock... Oh, damn, reach 1,250 total. 25 points. Anything else? Any other points from that? No, I think that is everything. Oh, no, reach level 75 combat. That is also a task. All right, I'm now going to go ahead and unlock Dargashin. Now, I don't need this straight away, but I'm going to unlock it whilst I'm here. And I'm also probably going to unlock the prayer skill. Uh, completed a Lost Tribe quest. Yep, completed that on my own. I didn't realize you got points and stuff back for doing quests by unlocking them. Uh, this wasn't very clear to me at the start. I thought you wouldn't do. I'm also going to unlock the range skill. Yeah, thank you very much. I get nothing back for that, but I should get some points back very, very soon. We are level 1 range at the moment, but we're going to go and fix that by doing some quests. Start off with uh, Demon Slayer followed by the Golem, and I'm pretty sure you can imagine where I'm going to be going next with that. Demon Slayer done. Now it's time for the Golem. There we go. The Golem's completed. Now it's time to start Shadow of the Storm. All right, we want the XP in ranged, which is why we unlocked it. 120,000 range completed. Our XP even. Shadow of the Storm is completed. 25 points. 51 range from that. That is ridiculous. Right, now we unlocked Dorgashen before. Let's go over and do some tasks over there, shall we? Should be able to buy ourselves a Dorgish and Crossbow. I think equipping it is also a task. Of course it is 25 free points. I'm going to buy myself some bolts as well. Because I think this is actually going to be like a best in slot weapon for a while. So we'll just get like a thousand bolts for now. With the bottomless quiver, that should last us a very long time. Pickpocket a Bullseye Lantern from a Cave Goblin. Completed. Steal a diamond from the Dorgish can chest. Yeah, that took a while. The worlds are very, very busy here. Oh, damn, I was just AFK and then got myself a Slash and Burn Relic, which I'm pretty confident is the one that has a chance to automatically burn logs. So I'm going to go and bang that one on, actually, because my woodcutting is, sorry, fight making is incredibly low. Uh, as you can see, we've just been pretty much AFK at the moment. So let's game. Set up a new bird house. Very nice. I think we should get some points pretty easily out of bird houses. I should be able to also go and fill up or go and unlock all the silly set mushrooms or the micellar, I think they're called. I don't know, whatever the hell these are called. Unlocking all the transportation on Fossil Island. Only five points for that as well. I suppose it's not that difficult to do. Trying not to spoil too much here at the end. I'm just going to stand here naked and you can all appreciate my sexy body. But no, on a serious note, guys, I am very far behind a lot of content creators on this league. But the end goal for me isn't to be number one. It's not to be rank one. I'm here to have fun. 
I'm here to prove that a casual gamer can max on leagues and probably finish in the top, maybe top 10%. Um, I'm hoping to go for Dragon Cup, maybe, but we'll see how much time I get away from work and things like that. If you guys are enjoying these videos, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. And a special thank you to my Patreons. Your names are on screen right now. I don't know what I'd do without you. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. Take care, peace out, and I should hopefully have another video out tomorrow.